Hey guys, Stephanie here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Photoshop to bring prints and patterns into your sketches. Let's get started. One of the things I get asked the most is how do I mix my prints and patterns in my designs? And my little trick is to use Photoshop. I draw out my sketches and then bring in the prints and patterns and the fabrics that I love and then mix them up before sewing so that I can know if the combination works. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. In order to get started, you need a simple line drawing or a sketch of your design. Make sure that all of the lines are closed so that any color will not bleed into the background. You also need a fabric swatch, either in person from something that you've bought online or from a bolt from the fabric store, or you can use a screenshot from something that you find online before you buy it. Simply screenshot it, save both of these items or scan them into the computer and then open them up in Photoshop. Let me show you how. In order to start, go to Photoshop and then open your file that you've already previously scanned in and saved to your computer. Mine is called the X front dress and I saved it as a JPEG. Then in Photoshop, select the Quick Selection tool, and then change the size and shape of your selection, larger or smaller, depending on how big of the selection you're trying to highlight is. A few quick clicks will select the area, and then you're going to go to Save Selection, and then name the selection. I'm going to just call this Skirt. Repeat the simple process until all of the areas that you want to insert print pattern or even solid color are selected. I'm going to do this sleeve and bodice section as its own selection and save that as bodice. And then I will repeat and do the same thing for that X front trim section as well. If you accidentally select an area that you don't want selected, you can hold down the Option button as you click, which will deselect any items. I'm doing that for some of the black lines that are accidentally highlighted using this process. The next step is to go to your fabric swatch that you've either scanned into the computer or you screenshotted from online and then using the crop tool, crop it to a selection that can be easily repeated. This is fairly straightforward for patterns that are stripes or grids or plaids, anything like that, even some dots, things that are um, a bit more abstract like florals and animal prints can be trickier but you are just trying to select the area that repeats as best you can. You're still going to get the look, even if it's not the exact repeat pattern. You can see this plaid swatch that I scanned in is a little wonky, but I'm just going to select the area as best as I can that I think will repeat and then use that swatch. Once you've cropped your selection, you're going to approve, then hit edit, define pattern. Then save your pattern in any way that you'd like and click OK. Once your pattern is saved, go back to your initial design and then go to select, load selection, and then pick out the selection that you'd like to first put your pattern in. So I'm going to start with the skirt and it's going to highlight the skirt section. Then I click edit, fill, and you can choose between your foreground color, which is on the left-hand side, your background color, or you'll see in the drop-down menu, pattern. And all of your patterns will come up in your custom pattern area. You can see the two most recent ones. Now you can either do script or no script. If you unclick the script box, you'll see that the size of the pattern will be most likely large, but it's whatever size you scanned it in as. If you select it and click Brick Fill, a box will appear where you can change the scale of the pattern. So I'm going to make this one much smaller 
Um, you can space out your selection if you want to just isolate like a dot or something specific. You can also change the pattern angle at the bottom. However, I would use that sparingly as it is not as continuous as you, as you think. Then click OK and see what your fill does. Continue this process for all of your selections and just make sure that you have all of your fabrics already preloaded and saved in to make it easy and ready to go. Careful because this can get very, very addicting, mixing and matching prints all day long, constantly trying to find new combinations that are fun and exciting. One trick to selecting more than one selection is to select your first and then click the add to selection box for your second. Then when you click OK, it highlights both of the sections, and which makes it easier to change more prints or patterns at once. Have fun mixing prints and patterns. This is one of my favorite things to do, and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much.